months, we have had a great month here learning all about how God's way is perfect. That's right. But you know what? Sometimes it might not look like God's way makes any sense. Like, if you had to go to battle, I bet you'd feel better going with a really big army to help you fight and win. That's what Gideon was thinking too. How about we tune into our story today and see what happened? Who? Who? You know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder. friends, I'm Zoe, and I just found my old jump rope. But sadly, I can't jump in it right now because I have a cast. But I love that I get to jump in so many different ways. I could jump like a kangaroo. Or a frog. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Or a grasshopper. It's so fun jumping in so many different ways. Ho, ho. It's Ollie. Hello, Zoe. Ho, ho. Jumping all around, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. There are so many different ways I can jump. Jumping is fun. It's true. Jump, jumping God's way is perfect for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ho. Follow me through, follow me through hell. Always got a Bible story for me and you. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Hola, friends. I'm Luis, the handyman. I'm just making sure this is ready for my niece. She's getting a new frog tomorrow, and we don't want it to be able to jump away. <laughs> See? All done. <laughs> it's perfect. Perfect. That reminds me of our story today. Do you want to help me build it? Great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready. Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a man named Gideon. One day God said, take an army and go defeat the big, powerful Midianites. Now Gideon knew that God's way is perfect. So Gideon jumped, jumped and went God's way. He got together the biggest army of men he could find. <laughs> Look at all of them. They were ready to go. But God said, Gideon, you have too many men. Make the army smaller. Hmm. So Gideon said to the army, if anyone's afraid, you can go back home. Wow, that's a lot of men. How will they defeat the Midianites now? But Gideon knew that God's way is perfect. So he jumped, jumped, and went God's way. The army was now ready to go again. But God said, there are still too many men. Make the army even smaller. Take them to the water and tell them to get a drink. Then God said, the men who put their faces down to the water should leave. The men who lifted the water to their mouth with their hands should stay. Now there were only a few men left in the army. But God said, go and fight, I will be with you. So once again, Gideon 
jump, jumped, and went God's way. Charge! And what do you think happened? Did they win or lose? They won! Of course they did! Because God's way is what? Perfect! <laughs> it's true. You know, sometimes when God asks us to do something, it doesn't always make sense. But we can trust that God's way is perfect. So we can jump, jump, and go God's way. Hey there, Ali. Tell me, whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. Gideon jumped God's way, and you can too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. What a great story. Gideon started with a big army, and then God said, make it smaller. Gideon went God's way and won the battle. God's way is perfect. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! It's fun being able to do things like a frog or a kangaroo, but it's even better to do things God's way. God's way is perfect. I'm going to jump, jump God's way. I'll see you next time. Bye! thought he would need a really big army to win the battle. But God kept telling to make his army smaller and smaller and smaller. And in the end, there were only very few soldiers left in Gideon's army. But that's exactly what God wanted. He was going to help them win, and he wanted Gideon to listen to his direction, even if it didn't seem to make any sense. We can't always see it at the moment, but we can always trust that God's way is perfect. Say it with me, friends, just like we've been practicing all month long. God's way is perfect. God's way is perfect. Yes, it is so true. Now let's stand up and praise God for being so good. So I don't have to worry You're
you could join me this month, friends. No matter what's going on in your life, turn to God and ask Him to lead you. He loves you and He's going to lead you in just the perfect way. See you next month.